video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the blobs filter to create some weird and wonderful designs. Now you can use the blobs filter with a number of sources, paste buffer is one of the key ones, but you can use it with patterns and current colour. Now first thing to do, I'm going to show you type. Now I've got an image here, so I can just continue with that. It doesn't, doesn't particularly matter, you can just add some type. I'm just going to say test. Okay. Once I've done that, created that, I'm just going to quickly go up to the quickly look for it. Yeah, there it is, a layer adjuster. You can resize that. Now what you can do then, go to layers and drop and select, edit and copy. So you can copy that, and that's now in the paste buffer. That's the main reason for this. Deselect that, because I don't want that to be selected. Go to effects, esoterica, and blobs. Now you can use current color, but you can use the paste buffer, and you can now see the word test. That was well, just added into the paste buffer. Click OK. Go to blobs again, paste buffer, and you can see very that. Click that until you're happy. Click OK. Now also use it again. Paste buffer again. Now at this point, you could of course I could vary the paste buffer, I could put some maybe different text into that so you don't have the word test all the time, you could A, A B, C, D, whatever. You can also vary the number of blobs, maybe you have it 10, 19. You can also vary the size, maybe make that slightly bigger, so 40, and it will distort what's there, and you can see it, obviously the type there. You can randomize it and keep applying until you're happy with the result. So click OK, and you get that. Okay. Now you can also use nozzles, that's a great source as well, you can use images, you can use brush strokes, you can use much more. Now I'm going to deselect that, that's a nozzle, you can open it, file open, this nozzle from the graphic extras set, of the nozzle collection, about a thousand odd. You can open that and then use select, reselect, so copy and then go back there and you can then go to blobs, paste buffer, and then you can see the blob distorted and warped all over the place just in that. And of course I could vary the blobs again, I could vary it, refresh that, and you can again click that until you're happy, click OK, and again go to blobs, maybe vary the nozzle, don't have to use the same nozzle, again refresh and distort, create that. So you can create a whole range of different distortions with those nozzles to create that sort of design. Okay, once you've done that, you can also use layers and layers, a new layer. I'm just gonna fill it with something initially. So fill, fill color, and I'm gonna set that to normal. Now, sometimes that appears, sometimes it doesn't. It is actually there. For some weird reason, the resource, it sometimes leaves it blank. I don't know why, but it is there. Effects and blobs. And again, you can go use the paste buffer. And I'm using the same nozzle, obviously, at this point, but you can see the and I can do that, click that, click that. I'm happy with that, click there. And you'll notice also, it doesn't appear there. Don't ask me why, but it is actually there. So normal, and you can see it then. So obviously it just, for some weird reason, there seems to be a memory issue, it just doesn't update that. And so you can actually use blending modes, and I'm gonna go difference. You can see you can create some weird and wonderful effects, and once you're happy with that, which is not particularly the greatest combination of effects, but you can obviously just drop all that and then obviously maybe apply other effects, blurs, smart blurs, or surface texture, etc. Now, you can also use, and I'm gonna quickly go now, to patterns. Obviously used nozzles, but patterns is another great source for the thing. And this one you can use direct, so there's the pattern there. There's a whole range of patterns, you can make your own patterns, you can quickly define a pattern in Painter. I've got videos already on that about Painter patterns. So there's a pattern there. What you can do, just go to Gain Effects and Blobs and use Pattern. And then you can see the pattern there. So that pattern is distorted nice around that. And again, you can vary that and you can see it distorts you what was originally there. Click OK. And you can apply it again. Blobs. And of course, you can vary the pattern. You don't have to use the same pattern. And you can vary the size. Click OK. Now, once you've actually done that, what you can also do, and you can actually use selections. So I'm just going to quickly go selections. I'm just going to go over it, overall selection. Oops, don't want to select that one. I'll go there. 
oval selection, and I'm going to select, say that part, doesn't have to be, and then I can copy, paste that, edit and copy, deselect, and then use that with blobs. So you can actually use something that you've actually got in the paste buffer, and you can see the design. So you've got the warp that's warped and warped within that as well. So a whole range of things there. But not only that, you can actually use, I'm just going to go back because I want to use the other one. Quickly select that and again use that. What you can do, you can go to effects, apply surface texture. You can go surface control obviously there. And you can see you can create an interesting sort of three-dimensional effect using that. Once you've got that, once you're happy with the setting, use the amount, you can vary, change the colour, the lights, click OK. Then obviously edit, copy, deselect that, and then apply the blobs again. And you can see then what you've got will be three dimensional blobs applied in that. So you can apply that, apply there, click OK. And again, blobs. Paste buffer. Always remember to go back to the paste buffer. Click OK, and you've got that. So, also, and of course, what you can do, you can you can do a whole lot more. I'm not going to. I could keep going. Obviously, just apply surface texture and change that. You can see what happens. You can actually create a very nice three dimensional change in the setting blob filter effect. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.